My name is uh, Sudhir Mata. I'm the VP of products here at MIST. Today, we're gonna to talk about the ABCs of AI. What we're gonna do is actually cover what is AI? What is machine learning? What is deep learning? What is data science? Without further ado, let's get into it. So um, AI, machine learning, deep learning, data science are very interesting different terms and, and they all represent different things. And so um, we we'll first set a level set on the baseline of, of what these definitions are. Artificial intelligence, right? This is actually the, the big umbrella of, of what we are living in today. Our worlds are being transformed with AI. So the best test of AI is, is the Turing test that was done, uh, proposed by uh, you know, uh, Alan Turing, uh, Professor Alan Turing, you know, five, six decades ago, right? What is the Turing test? The Turing test is quite simple. If you as a human are interacting with a system A and a system B, and if system A behind the scenes is a machine and system B behind the scenes is a human, and you as a user can't tell the difference, that's AI, you've arrived, right? So, um, so that's really at a very macro level, AI is something that passes the Turing test and, and I think, you know, slowly but surely in networking, we're gonna get there, right? So this is our crusade and we're gonna show you some examples of how we're getting there, number one. Next, what is machine learning? Machine learning is a set of models and, and, and algorithms to help you get to AI, right? And so there's all kinds of models here um, that, um, you know, very basic, you know, regression schema, regression models, you know, to really complex models out there. And machine learning is collecting a lot of data and actually, and if you can train the machine to learn uh, from the data, that's, that's called supervised machine learning, which is what Google did many moons ago when they were trying to identify the picture of a cat. They, they fed, you know, millions of pictures of cats to the machine and then when the very next picture was was uh, was input into the system, it was identified as a cat, right? And so that's that's supervised trained based training based machine learning. The next one is unsupervised machine learning, which is one of the principles we apply here in MIST um, for our location engine. When you take your iPhone and you walk into a hospital, you know, or then are you walk into an airport or you walk into a stadium, the how the iPhone's RF characteristics behave is wildly different. So we machine learn on the same phone in different environments without you pre-feeding, hey, this is how a stadium looks like and this is how a, uh, a hospital looks like or whatever, right? And so that's unsupervised machine learning. So we're gonna talk about both of those. What's deep learning? Deep learning is, is the human science trying to emulate the the human brain right our brain is 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 millions and billions of neurons connecting and and so there are layers and layers of neurons that are connecting and so either eliminating pictures either is or, or forming pictures as we are looking at things and if you can think of it today there isn't a camera that emulates the human eyesight and 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 there isn't a machine that emulates the human brain in terms of what we can process around us right and so that's a neural network that's the very best neural network in the world and neural networking and deep learning is about you know you know layers and layers of algorithms and reinforced learning uh, learning from um, the d data and and stuff like that right so this is this is really uh, good stuff this is the advanced machine learning stuff, which is deep learning. What is data science? Data science is basically a, a little bit of AI, a little bit of machine learning, a little bit of deep learning, but it's really putting data together. It's predictions, it's forecasting, uh, it's a lot of that, uh, um, you know, using data to, uh, to, to, uh, to provide guidance is, is, is data science, right? So we, we have, you know, each of the facets of these things coming up into networking. And so we're today we're gonna to talk about, first, let's go and look at some of the examples we have in our daily lives of, uh, of each of these um, uh, principles here. So 
What's an example of AI in our in our daily life? Uh, I don't know about you, but um, you know, at my home, I have uh, 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 three Alexa devices. Uh, uh, I have uh, uh, the the two little ones, and then an actual big Alexa um, um, Amazon Echo, and that's basically it's it's trying to emulate a virtual assistant, right? A virtual assistant that's always available, so you can ask it almost anything. Of course, it doesn't know a lot of stuff. And so that, that involves a little bit of training in the background and whatever. But um, Alexa represents probably the best uh, or the easiest to understand AI for us. Uh, at a macro level, probably the biggest AI movement in our generation is what IBM did with Watson, right? Today, when you go into a doctor in many, many large healthcare institutions, um, IBM Watson is basically saying, you know what? Hey, you know, Sudhir has lived in California for 20 years, and and so he has these symptoms. So I think we can, you know, roughly say this medication will be helpful for him. But Watson is saying, wait, wait, time out. He's from Indian descent and lived in Iowa, and, and so and and you know, of a certain age. And so when you put all of these other things together that you don't learn in a textbook, maybe I will change the medication or or change the dosage, right? Watson is actively helping people. Make decisions, and that's uh, you know uh, emulating uh, the expertise of of a deep doctor, right? Uh, so next, the examples for machine learning for us are are, are many fold, right? Um, uh, the uh, an example for machine learning. Sorry about that. Uh, the examples for machine learning for us is Nest, right? So uh, I have a Nest uh, um, thermostat at home. You know, if you can imagine this, thermostats have not been reinvented for a hundred years. And suddenly, you know, Nest comes around, and boom, there's an innovation. And there, you know, Nest knows when when I come into the home, when I leave the home, and it's basically trying to, you know, it goes into an eco mode that actually automatically adjusts uh, um, uh, the thermostats and 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 stuff based on people being there. It's learning. It's learning when I'm there. It's learning when I'm not there. Deep learning is what Tesla and self-driving networks are based on, right? Uh, um, Deep learning is what self-driving cars and self-driving networks are going to be de dependent on. And this is layers and layers of neural networks that we can use uh, to, to learn. Um, and uh, there's so many facets to deep learning and, and the AI that's driving uh, uh, you know, self-driving cars. It's amazing, right? So there's, that's, that's right there in front of us. Now, Data science would be me trying to predict, you know, would the Cavaliers win the uh, um, the NBA Finals? Uh, this is a an example for a few from a few months ago, but um, you know, it was fascinating. You know, once uh, once Golden State um, won uh, uh, the first several games, it became obvious that yeah, you know, there was no chance in hell if they if they they were up a, a three and one that the Cavaliers would actually come back and do some damage, right? You know, history tells us, statistics tell us that teams that are up, uh, you know, by a certain margin at a certain point in the series are going to win. Right, so so data science is just using analytics and data to predict uh, some things that uh, is statistical. Now, all of this is fine and dandy. Why are you wasting an hour with us for if if all of this is is generally available? How does this apply to us, and why does this matter? Why it matters is very foundational to why if you're going to spend the next uh, thirty minutes with us here, uh, why you should do that. Right? Here's was here's the truisms in the wireless industry: the number of users, devices applications and bandwidth are growing exponentially. I can honestly tell you 100% of you will say, yep, that's happening in my enterprise. If that's happening, there is a corollary to that. The number of user complaints, the number of people saying the Wi-Fi sucks is also growing with the number of devices, users, applications, and bandwidth. But there is one thing that's not exponentially growing. The one thing that's not exponentially growing is the number of people on your team. The IT team isn't, isn't exponentially growing. So how does a, a, a team that is probably grown 10% in the last uh, five years deal with an exponential network, an exponential demand, an exponential support uh, 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 volume? Or if, if nothing else, in some cases, the teams are shrinking, right? So how do you bridge that gap? There are two words for this, AI, and automation. 
If you are not doing these two things, you are in existential crisis. You're going to get replaced. You're going to, they're going to find a new team. These are foundational or fundamental for you to incorporate into your system. You have to use AI. You have to use automation. And that's the only way I think you'll, you will, you or your team will scale. Very critical. Uh, obviously, uh, um, independent of the size of the network you're running. Thank you very much for joining the ABCs of AI. We really appreciate and value your time and your feedback. If you have more questions or more comments, please send them to us on our website.